Hello everyone, this is DA from the Academy and today this video is about some of the techniques that we use in order to make better decisions. We can say that techniques used in operational research to reach at the optimal solutions to ambiguous or complex decision making problems. Here I have used the word optimal, which means that the best solution or the most favorable in a certain situation. So we are going to find us uh, optimal and optimal solution to any ambiguous or the complex problem. Now, the name of the, some of the important techniques that are used in operation research are linear programming, and this is the very first and the very important technique of the operation research that is linear programming. The second one is the second technique that I use to solve the transportation problem. The third one is for the assignment problems. And the fourth, um, considered in the game theory. And fifth one is goal programming. And I'm not going into the detail of each and every one right now. Because there are many techniques that we will use uh, you know, to find the optimal solution for the operation research. So we will consider them and we will consider them in future. So now we'll focus on the simplest of all, the first one. That is linear programming. So what is linear programming? As the name implies that it concerned with the linear problems or linear functions that may contain more than two or two variables. For example, we have a linear function f with two variables x and y. Now, the other example may be more than two variables. So here variables are x, z, t, and y, and both of them are the linear functions. So in linear programming, these linear functions are, are said to be the objective function because this is the function that is what the objective of the problem is. Because linear programming is used to maximize maximize this linear function or to minimize this linear function um, with the help of some of the limitations and here we call these limitations as constraints and we'll express the constraints with equalities or inequalities for example we can write the first constraint or the first limitation uh, on this objective function is that 2x plus y is less than or equal to 3 or the other is x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 4 so this is an example of a constraint because a constraint can be inequality so we can also write it we can also write any constraint if in if it is in the equality like this so it it is also a constraint and this is also a constraint in the inequality and this is also a constraint in the equality but here all of the variables x y and here x z t and y all the variables should be are assumed to be positive or at, in the least case it is it is zero so all of the variables are assumed to be positive or zero and this is a, a characteristic or a certain type of condition of a linear programming problem so there are me there are main three things in this the first is objective function the second is constraint and the third is that all of the non-negative variables or we can say that decision variables here why the variables are positive because in the decision variables or the decision making problems the negative thing is is just a not real thing because if we're, if we're going to say that there are minus three products in the market so what is this what well, this is nothing because it doesn't have any physical physical amplification in, in this aspect. So that's why we don't have any negative variables, negative values of the variables. Now let's take an example of the linear programming problem because I'm not going in the underlying theorems of the bounded or etc. Um, to avoid ambiguity. So let's take an example to understand it more easily. So now we have a problem that our manufacturer can produce two different products, product A and product B. So in a given period of time, 
each of each of these products require four different manufacturing operations the very first is grinding turning assembling and testing so the given data about the product a and product b um, in the available hours and how much time a product a consume in the grinding operation in testing and in assembling and turning is given here that product a spent one hour in grinding operation three hours in turning six hours in assembling and five hours in testing and same for two uh, same for the product b two for grinding one for turning three for assembling and four for testing and the available hours at each operation that maximum we can spend 30 hours the sum of the 30 hours for both of the products in the grinding operation maximum 60 hours for the turning maximum 200 hours for both of the assembling and testing process so the contribution of the profit is rupees 2 for each unit of A and rupees 3 for each unit of B because the firm can sell all that it produces at the prevailing market price now we are going to model this because the objective is to maximize profit and we can make maximum profit if we have maximum number of products both of the products now the objective is to maximize profit and the rate of both of the products that that the the selling rate of or the the profit rate of both of the products are so product a can be sell at two dollars and product b can be sell at three dollars so we're going to maximize this now let's assume that we're we are going to express product a with x and product b with y so we have an objective that we have to maximize our function that is our objective function considering with the two variables x and y that is equal to 2x plus 3y so this is the objective function we are going to maximize our profit what are the constraints here are the constraints of the grinding turning assembling and testing with these are the limitations given that these are the maximum possible hours that we can use in order to produce both of the products so the constraints are so we have the constraints that when we're talking about the grinding process so we have one or for the product a so one into x plus for the product b we have two into y and what is the maximum possible time or maximum possible hours for the grinding is 30 so we have to at least at least 30 or at most 30 so that's why i'm using less than or equal to 30 here and for the same pattern for the 60 in the turning for 200 for assembling and for 200 for the testing process so these are the constraints this is the objective function we have to maximize this profit these are the constraints and the very important thing is that x the product a the amount of the product a and b the amount of product y here should be positive so this is the the model of this problem in the linear programming problem so there are many techniques of solving this we are we are here just to this is just the modeling of a uh, daily life problem now the question is how we can solve this how we can solve this problem how we can maximize the profit so there are many many techniques in linear programming uh, there are there are many types that we can use according to the situation of the problem according to the model that we have under study uh, so for example we have uh, we have graphing technique we have simplex method we have big m technique we have two phase method we have um, many others so to many other ways of solving linear programming problems according to a certain situation according to a certain problem so in the next video we will talk about the graphing method that is really easy and we have to solve only a single problem you know to recall that because we are all well familiar with what is a graphing graphing method for this type of situation so in the next video we'll talk about the graphing method uh that how we can use this in order to you know to solve the linear programming problem and this is for now looking for most videos then you can subscribe this channel to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye